Hello you fellow musicians and gamers out there, this is Kleiner Gamer here and I am here with part 3 of my Crash 2 Insanity Let's Play where I am going to be covering the next level which is called Totem Hokum. And as you can see Cortex is there waiting for us, it's like, come on Kleiner, let's get on with this, let's get on with this. Like, okay Cortex, I'll be right there with you. You have to help me Crash, you heard them, they want to destroy our island home, humiliate and enslave you, and steal my brain! How I envy the simple life of the tribe's folk. Living in harmony with Mother Nature, the noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Okay, now in that cutscene, guys, you may have noticed there was a bit glitched, like when they show Papu Papu, because normally it does the drum beat after the the Ugumaga, like for the Aku Aku sound. But I didn't do it the first two times, but I did it the last time. I don't know if you heard that. That was a bit of a glitch in the sound there. But anyway, uh. Uh, yes, I am back with my third part of Crash to Insanity, uh, or Let's Play Crash to Insanity. And I've got to say, guys, this has been a really popular Let's Play so far, so I thank you all for your comments uh, and uh, all your likes and everything, your support has been so great. I mean, it's been fantastic so far. And I'm actually very happy as well as uh, one person, uh, Spyro557, commented down below saying that uh, I inspired him to play this game again. So, honestly, I'm really happy that somebody commented that. It actually means I'm really doing something right on my channel. I mean, it, it really does. But anyway, so, Totem Hokum. Now, you can see Cortez has got it while he's getting stunned by bees constantly. So, I've got to clear a path from. Now, there's, there's six gems here. There's two gems on this uh, bee chase. The green gem is the first one that I collected there. So, this can be kind of like a guide to 100% in a way. Even though I don't technically know how to collect the gems. I mean, I... Now, I will admit, I actually did look up uh, videos on how to collect these gems. Because I, I have not figured out all this on my own. I mean, most... The majority of the gems in this game, I do know where they are. But there's some of them that I don't know where they are. Which I don't know where they are, should I say. If I can speak properly, that'd be great. But anyway, here's the next gem. Just go wait for these nitros to explode and get the purple gem. And then we get to the last part of the chase. Poor Cortex, I do feel for him. Now he's got like a bear chasing him. As well as uh, Venus flytraps coming after him, which I dispose of. So, yeah, I mean, what else can I say? I mean, oh yeah, the, the music that's on here. This is a... Uh, a rendition of uh, the Flight of the Bumblebee, which is obviously very appropriate for this. And the uh, Flight of the Bumblebee is probably still the hardest thing to play on the planet. I would imagine it would be because of all the notes and all the techniques you would have to, to use to get it right. I mean, that's why I would imagine the Flight of the Bumblebee would be one of the hardest pieces to play on the clarinet. And speaking of like clarinet pieces and covers, I will be coming back to clarinet. Hmm, Papi Papi's not too happy with Cortex, like, just bumming into him like that, but anyway, speaking of my clarinet covers and everything, I was going to talk about that, yes, you may have noticed on my other channel, uh, which is just my real name, I mean, I try to change my channel name, but I think, uh, for some reason, I'm not sure if it's just because of, like, me not getting used to Google Plus or anything like that, but, uh, it changed my channel name, my original channel name, to my actual name, which, which is okay, I mean, I don't mind that. So, uh, just talking about future clarinet covers of what I want to do. I do have a couple that I want to do, but I'm not going to state what they are yet. But as soon as I have time to practice them, or uh, practice them to cover the, to cover them on the channel. Now, as you can see here, you got to avoid this uh, these tribesmen from spotting you. Whereas, uh, so it's kind of like Mel Your Solid Crash Bandicoot style, except you're not taking them out. You're just leaving them. You're not actually killing them. You or and knock them unconscious. Oh great, okay, the camera is not that great at the moment. Uh, the tribesman agrees with me, he's like, hmm, that camera's not great. <laughs> but, it's not too bad this, I mean, when I first played this as a child, I constantly struggled at this, probably because my stealth skills weren't up to speed, or they were not good enough. Right, where is he, is he gonna get his binoculars out? Now, I was thinking if I do get caught by one of these tribesmen, I was thinking about putting in as a laugh the Mel Gear Solid alert uh, sound. Because it's very appropriate. I think it's very appropriate anyway. Okay, so, oh, quick, quick. Yes, there we go. Now, this is the hardest one, duck in the boat to hide. I struggled at this when I was a kid. Because I could not figure out for the life of me of where to hide in that boat. I bet you, it's not going to surprise me if I die in the boat here right now. 
No. Wow, okay, I'm surprised I didn't die there. Never mind. And I think that would, would have been the right time to put in the Metal Gear Solid uh, alert sound right there. <laughs> oh, crap. No. Oh, no, there you go. That's the right time to put it in. <laughs> uh, uh. So I've died twice. First was a stupid death because I failed to jump on the platform. Secondly, I didn't spin the tribesman. I didn't spin the tribesman in the boat and then I died because I got spotted. Right, third time a charm? Yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, that's twice now that that alert sound has been featured in the videos. I figured that would have been appropriate since it is kind of like Metal Gear Solid in the way you're trying to avoid getting spotted. Alright, now this bit here is quite simple. You just gotta get rid of these boars here and just avoid the tribesmen yet again from seeing you. Just duck here in the, the spot. And oh crap, no, 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 bad boars, bad boars. I was thinking they were saying the bad boys seem with the bad, bad boars. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> no idea why. I just had that theme in my head when I said that. Like, oh yeah, now here, here's the third gem. Now, this is quite complex, this, because you have to use these rocks right here. And luckily, or sorry, stones. You have to skim these, uh, one of these rocks across to hit that. Those nitros. Oh, and I got on my first try, lo and behold. So now, this is a bit complex as the camera's a bit funny here. Okay, so let's just see if I can get this. Oh, there we go. So I got the red gem. I'm pretty sure if I die here, it doesn't matter. I'm, I think it still counts as me getting the red gem, but it'd be nice to get back over without dying. There we are. Well, I actually did that without, like, an flawlessly I think. I mean I, I can't believe I did that. It usually takes me a few attempts to get that red gem because of how I thought that was going to be really complicated and I thought I would have to keep doing it every like I thought I'd have to redo that at least like twice or something like that. Okay so now here's the final bit. The final section of this level. We just got to rescue Cortex up that totem pole and he's trying to grab that power crystal but to no avail he's like give me the power the power mm. Here's this power cortex moonwalking. Yay! <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, I shouldn't do that. I'm having a bit too much fun with this. But anyway. Now, to, there's two gems in this uh, worm chase area. And they are as follows in, this, in these areas. So I'll just get up to this point here. Now, the yellow gem. If I'd, will I get the yellow gem first? Actually, no, I'm going to get a yellow gem out of the way first, because this is quite complicated, this. Well, it's not complicated, it's not hard to, to get the yellow gem. You need to jump on these platforms here, that rise here. Like that. That's not how you do it. Damn it. Right. Okay, get rid of that tribesman. No, you're not getting me. Crap. Okay, I thought I was going to lose my mask. Wait, whoa, how'd you get up there? Right, okay. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, I think they're timed here. I think it's every three seconds. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, and there should be- Oh, damn it! Never mind. This is going to be really complicated. Do you know what? I'm going to get the blue gem first. I might have to end up cutting uh, some of this out if I keep failing to get the yellow gem. The, the yellow gem's pretty hard, actually. I've never got the yellow gem from this area, so this might take me a few attempts, but the blue gem is pretty simple. All you need to do is just jump on these platforms here. And the blue gem is just, oh, over there. Right in that far area. As long as you just get your timings right, there you are. So that's the blue gem. Now I'll just jump back down here. And I'm gonna try and see if I can get the yellow gem again. So, what else is I going to talk about? Yeah, I mean, things have been going quite well this week, I mean, in terms of work and everything like that, but, uh, I mean, it's coming closer to Christmas and it's getting quite busy at work, which I expected, I mean, because, you know, it, it's really busy around about Christmas time and uh, everyone will be looking for the best bargains and everything before Christmas. Right, let's wait here for that other platform to rise. There we are, right. 
Wait, yes, okay. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Starting to turn into Daniel Bryan here. Yes, yes, yes. Aha, got it. So that's the yellow gem now. We can play this normally now, so you just gotta slam and chase the worm here to rescue Cortex. Ah, okay. Might as well leave that death in the me now. I probably won't go with the bloopers. Actually, I, I don't know, will it? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that death in. I might leave it in the mean. I, I don't know, it really depends on how the rest of the video goes. Okay, so now, just go to chase the worm up here. Get invincibility. Which. If I'm being honest, the invincibility in this game is not that great. It really is pretty weak. Because, like, I mean, one of the things I already mentioned in this Let's Play is it doesn't protect you from nitros at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, spinning boar for the win. You saw that, right? <laughs> spinning boar. <laughs> oh, God, that that was funny. I didn't expect that. Like, the boar was just spinning around the hole. Okay, so now successfully got the crystal. Oh, and Papa Papa is not too happy with this. Well, I'm not too happy with your spinning boars, Papa. You need to do something about it. You need to feed them more often. It's like they're dying for for something to eat. And they're just spinning around like crazy. Well, turns out you're not too happy with what I said, so I'm out of here. Run! <laughs> now, the last gem is on this chase section, and I'll show you where that is. Now, give it to these first set of tribesmen. And it should be around about here. Uh, yes, about here. So, double jump. There we are. And that's the clear gem. So, that's all six gems collected for this area. Let me just check. Yep, that's all six. So, now we just need to escape the tribesmen without, uh, well, dying too much. And that should be simple enough. Okay, so, good. And that's it. Success. It's pretty easy that chase, I mean this is not too hard. And how long is this video at the moment? 12 minutes. I'll do one more thing before I end this video off, uh, and that it's not just going through this tunnel, but it's going through here. So if I were to come up with a question in the video here, uh, I know probably a lot of you are asking right now, can you please do a cover of Flight of the Bumblebee? I'll be like, well, if you give me Lots of practice, then yes, I can do it. I, if you give me up to at least maybe one or two years or maybe a few months, then yes, I could probably cover it. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I, I just think like Fly the Bumblebee or me would be the hardest thing to cover on the clarinet or even play on the clarinet. But anyway, here's the next save point and Cortex is right there waiting on us, so let's trigger this nice cutscene and see what happens. Oh, Crash. The farmer's market is tomorrow, and my wumpa trees won't grow, for my orchard is riddled with greedy worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. I'm an evil scientist. What do you expect? This isn't a game. Oh, well, it is a game, Cortex. Too bad. You're in one. Now, this is what you get for glitching out on me, chickens. Now, before we do this, actually, before we do this worm chase, let me just show you something. That's a shortcut right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that's actually a shortcut that you could possibly take. I mean, if you're doing speedruns of this game, that's actually quite a bit of a shortcut that you can take. Now, just need to defeat these worms here. So, this reminds me of an old, very old-fashioned game, Whack-A-Mole, instead it's Whack-A-Worm. Now... I remember one of my good friends, uh, Hey David Seventeen, uh, telling me that like he encountered a glitch on this once, that when Cortex died on this, uh, the worms turned into Cortexes, and they kept coming out of the hole. And I would have thought to myself, oh man, that would have been so hilarious to see. It really would have been. Actually, I'm very tempted to do the boss in this in this area. Actually, I don't want to make this part too short. You know, what? I'm going to do it. I'll do the boss. Yep, I know Cortex are waiting, so now, I just want to check the video live. Okay, it's nearly 15 minutes, right? You know what? I'm going to do the boss. Why not? I tell you, you boys have been doing swell. Just swell. Anyhow, we've been taking in the sights of Insanity Island here. Nice digs. So much to see, so much to destroy. Got the native village, 
the lava caves, the totem gods. Yeah, back in the tenth dimension, we don't have anything near as nice as the totem gods. The vivid colors, the intricate carving, you know, it's almost as if they're alive. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Exactly as if they're alive. Well, here's the next boss. Uh, I think it was a... Uh, why have I forgotten the name of this guy already? Who was it? Uh, oh, don't tell me it'll, it'll come to me. I know some of you in the comments right now are thinking, is this guy Clanet? Is, is, is the name of the, is, that's the name of, of, of this uh, statue, or a totem god. Now, the strategy for this is like, uh, basically, if you go far away here, he'll uh, try to slam you with his hands. Take him on, that's who it was. Now, to, to hurt me, you just need to throw him in, uh, into his mouth. Not Pokemon, but Tikimon. That's who, who the statue is. So imagine, like, if he if he was a Pokemon, trying to hurt him with like a, you know like a or trying to catch him. Yeah, no, no way, Jose, is that going to happen unless if you damage him a lot without killing him. I don't know why. I just thought I'd mention that. Now he has a second attack. Here. He uses a uh, well lasers of his eyes. I mean, of course, because uh, the well the. Well, the evil twins uh, brought him to life. Now, I do remember sometimes when fighting this boss, even if you try and throw Cortex into his mouth, sometimes it doesn't always, like, get, like, on target always. Now, I'm going to show you the other attack he does. If you go up close to him, this is what he does. He just tries to slam you with his hands if you go up close to him. That's basically all he does. He just uses his uh, fist right there and then just to smash you. It's like Hulk smash or Tiki smash. <laughs> okay, and so now final hit. Hopefully, I get this. Yes, I do. Okay, and to get rid of all these enemies, I just basically body slam them. It saves me having to spin them constantly. And that's it. Tiki Mon is defeated. It's a pretty easy battle. I mean, like when I first played it as a chat. Okay, right, cutscene coming up here. Versa reverse the device is in operation, sucking the goodness out of this dimension and leaving behind the worst of all possible worlds. We just like making a mess. <laughs> See you all, losers! <laughs> hey, is it lunchtime yet? Tenth dimension. Yes, yes! In the dark ocean of my intellect swims a magnificent whale of a plan. To the laboratory! We're not beaten yet. The game is on. Come along! Okay then. Right, so... What I was going to say was when I played this as a child, Oh yes, if you still touch him, you'll die. So, don't touch him. Whatever you do, do not touch him after he's dead. He, he, otherwise, he'll still kill you. Which is a bit random, or... But silly, I don't know why he still kills you after you die, but anyway, I was going to originally end this part off after the boss, but I decided, no, you know what, the last gem of Insanity Beach is here, so I'm going to show you how to get it. Now you can see these TNTs and Nitros here, I'm going to do the risky way first. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> that did not work at all. I missed the TNTs completely. Okay, take two of the risk. Again, failed. <laughs> okay, right. It's lucky I've got a lot of lives here, so this may end up being them bloopers. Right, third time of charm, please? Yes. Right, now go, 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 no. Okay, good. Right, so, you know what, now, I'm actually now going to officially make a bloopers reveal of that now. So, I'm going to add them some sound effects to saying fail, or, or, mwah, 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 or something like that, that you failed. <laughs> or even just a laugh track to, to... To the Skype or I actually I don't know whether I should Well, that was a fit. What is like <laughs> What is that Chitesman doing? It's like he's just dancing, he's doing a victory dance, so he's just I don't think he's even dancing, I think he's just like stuck there. 
See, this game is very glitchy. I think I, I think it was. I mean, in fact, no, I don't think. I, I think the fact is, I think this game was completely rushed when it was. So yeah, the yellow gem isn't there anymore, so it's not there. So I have now officially got all the gems for Insanity Island. So as I'm ending this part, I'm just gonna get rid of all these tribesmen and just end it off. Yeah, the best way to get rid of these guys is just to slide into them. You can spin them, but it's quite risky, and it doesn't work all the time. So, I think that's it, guys. One, if I actually, you know what, I'm going to go to the Iceberg layer Since I've now officially got everything on the Insanity Island area... Yep, that's me got every, absolutely everything. So now I just need to get the boat here to get to the Iceberg layer So, I think I'm going to end this part off, guys. So, thank you all very much for watching part 3 of my Crash to Insanity Let's Play, that, and where I cover Totem Hokum, the... I think the second boss and getting the final gem for Insanity Island. Thank you all very much for watching. This has been Clanic Gamer here. Please feel free to like if you enjoyed the video, comment down below for your thoughts. And also please feel free as well to subscribe as well for more upcoming content in the future. Till then till then guys, this is Clanic Gamer here signing off. Hope you all have a great day wherever you are. And I shall see you later. Next time I come back, I will be covering the iceberg layer for getting the gems. So until then guys. Have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Till then, goodbye.